Hello everyone, welcome to The Logical Fallacy. My name is Sean, and welcome to another special video for guys today. It's actually been quite a while since we've reacted to one of these, but I'm going to be reacting to a game theory, The Tortured Ghosts of Minecraft. I really like uh, his Minecraft videos, and I am really interested in the lore of Minecraft, but this one's about the LA, which I think is interesting because we don't really know too much about the LA. I'm excited kind of see what his thoughts are on it because it is a a mob vote mob uh so that kind of complicates but i think overall they kind of do kind of form a little bit of lore on each character but i don't know i don't really know maybe they have no idea and they're just making all this up because they know it'll get people to talk about minecraft more but hey it's working so let's uh let's get into it iron <laughs> glass your eternal soul that's obviously the final ingredient in anything you're making redstone that's a perfect the theorist mobile is finally back to its former glory now oh yeah some insurance and we're good to go and <laughs> car insurance <laughs> Wait, what? I, I said that's, car that's a phone. Not phone. Uh -huh. But the LA has just given you exactly what you needed. Tom, where? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Are, are, are you okay? Never better. Full damage is pretty generous in this game. But why? Well, why well, you know, know, well, you know, not for me. Definitely not for me. Never mind that now. Listen, your LA gave you a cell phone so that you could get an insurance quote with Geico. Okay, so now he's doing a sponsorship segment. That's fine. That's fine. I, I respect that. But I'm going to skip. I'm sorry. I don't know how long this lasts. It's right here. Somewhere, somewhere in here. There we go. It's just nice that I can put my mind at ease knowing that I'm fully protected. Well, well, now you've done it. What was, yeah, I'm not sure Geico's deals can protect you from that. Wait, wh what do you mean? Well, you're you're in the overworld. The, the the warden doesn't spawn in the overworld, so that's just wrong. <laughs> it just throws him. Oh, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Here we go. Hello, internet. Well, the far away. <laughs> I love the pun. When you give it more subscribe button. Recently, we did a theory hey, all about that is true. To Minecraft to Subscribe, to guys, if you want more content. Down into the deep dark to uncover the origins of the warden. How the warden actually has the spirits of five children stuffed inside it. <laughs> underground ancient cities are actually old, forgotten pizzerias. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was a that was a theory from the comments. We actually <laughs> talked about how the warden was summoned by the ancient That's builders good. to defeat the. I feel like FNAF just, like, is now, like, required to come up in every single one of his theories now. Like, it's it's a requirement. He has to, like, when he's doing his script, he has, like, a list, a checklist. And one of those is FNAF reference. And we have checked that off. Congratulations, Matt Ben. Got your FNAF reference. The wither. But once it did, at least it came from somebody else. Over, yeah. Eventually causing the ancient builders to have to flee to the end. Here's a um here's a dramatic recreation of how it happened. <laughs> Titan has freed us. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say free. More like under new man. Oh. Mega Mind is such a good movie, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is It still holds up, even though it is actually quite old, relatively. But there was so much more to this wild update than just the warden that I didn't get the chance to talk about. We have the mangrove biomes that are full of information. We have agriculture. Slime and magma to produce light. Definitely a theory for another day. But the very strange was the long-awaited introduction of the 2021 mob vote winner, the LA. This which I've played in the new version, and I have yet to see the LA. Maybe I just haven't crafted a note block, but kind of sad. Mysterious looking creature has one main function to support the player in gathering resources you give it an item and it'll pick up more of that same item from the surrounding area it's no wonder this thing beat out the glare and the copper golem. hey I mean, be nice the copper golem uh, is uh can't see and I'm pretty cool by skeletons something tells me it might be a little dark in here the LA meanwhile this thing is perfect for adventure notice he didn't talk about the iron golem or excuse me the copper golem that's because everyone's sad about the copper golem. For music lovers and for gathering the most difficult resource in all of Minecraft, the lore. 
<laughs> That's right. This thing is deep fried in the stuff. Simultaneously confirming theories we've had in the past about other mobs, while also opening brand new doors for us to explore about the world. And true to form, it's dark. It is yep. disturbing. And I'm sure. For you that bit by bit, it's this channel's mission to expose this bright and friendly building game for the disturbing, twisted dystopia that it's always been. I mean. Well, I mean, Minecraft did just like. Pretty much introduce one of the scariest mobs in Minecraft, like the Warden's Entrance. At least, you know, looking at the Warden, I haven't actually seen the Warden up close or anything. You know, I have seen the Deep Dark, and I've got to say, it's kind of scary. You know, not not like in any, like, actual, like, this is horror. Um, no, more just generally, like, unexpected from the feel of the game. So, you know, I can definitely see some very dark lore uh, being connected to the warden, but the LA on the other hand, uh, I mean, it's a vex that has transformed through healing potions. I don't know. I'm not the one who's putting sound effects like this into the game. Uh, I'm just the one who's there telling you what it all means. So let me be your personal LA today. Give oh, me a few gosh. minutes of your time. No. No, get it off screen. And I'll bring uh, more lore than you oh, it's still there. At. This, my That's friends, cringe. is the tortured history of the LA. I'm Let's sorry, I've never cringed so hard at that part. LA look a lot like the Vex. Yep, yep, I know. This is the searing insight that you come to this channel looking for. In all seriousness, though, this is obviously something that people have been calling out since the LA's announcement. But I do think it's worth starting there to see whether the connection is more than just skin deep. Or, I suppose, soul deep? Remember, the Vex aren't made of skin. According to the mob bestiary quote we do not know what a vex's body is made from since it has not yet been possible to obtain a specimen but it is quite possible that it is not flesh as we know it we actually did a tree back in 2020 that discussed the lore surrounding the illagers and in part three we took a closer look at the vex specifically thanks to their lack of flesh their ability to phase through walls and the fact that they glow in the dark we concluded that they aren't undead mobs like zombies or skeletons yeah i don't but think so creatures made of souls and that Ooh. is souls plural so if you listen closely to their audio, you can hear multiple voices present. <laughs> So, how does oh. this compare to what we know about the LA? Well, for starters, listen to one of the new sounds added to the game called LA Chortles. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, to chortle means to Interesting, that sounds very similar. Way. Even if you ignore the definition, you can totally hear it, right? The laughter of the LA sounds very similar to one of the many voices heard within the shrieks of- It's a baby Vex! It's gonna grow up to murder you. You're gonna be giving it redstone one day and it's just gonna drop it and be like, ah ha ha, I'm not gonna be picking up any more of your stuff. And it just picks up a sword. And then it becomes a Vex. That's that's the lore of Minecraft. Vex, listen again and compare the two. And that's not all. The LA sharing the Vex's ability to glow in dark environments, which again would imply that it too is some sort of a spirit. But the biggest connection of all might just be the names. Vex is a word that means to anger or worry, while the word LA means to relieve or alleviate. Clearly huh, two interesting. opposite sides of the spectrum, kind of like an angel and devil on Minecraft Steve's shoulders. One hoping to bring him relief, the other worry. All of this tells or, us that these you know, two are similar it's just to stab you. They're both clearly the annoying. Spirits, but it does doesn't quite tell us whether they're actually connected to each other. Are the LA good versions of the Vex? Are they all just random spirits? Or is there something else going on here? Spooky well, again, holograms. Those Vex <laughs> In our previous videos, I talked extensively about how the Evokers seem to be experimenting using life and death. There was a lot of evidence pointing to that, but the fact that they dropped totems of undying, literal tools for resurrecting the dead, is a pretty major clue pointing Yeah, I would say direction. that. And in that theory, I guess that the Vex was just another example of them using souls to create some new horrifying monster to do their bidding. Now, back at the time of the theory, we didn't know exactly where those souls were coming from, but now the answer is clear. The Alay are the ones being experimented on. They're oh. being joined together and corrupted in order to create the Vex. Let's look for a minute at their spawn conditions. The Alay are only able to be found in pillager outposts in cages or in really? the England mansions locked up in jail cells. I mean, that's a weirdly specific oh, that's place interesting. to find anything, let alone some weird flying spirit creature and you want to guess how many LA can be found in each cage or cell one Ooh. two three in the same amount of voices that we can hear inside of the vex audio files <laughs> 
the evokers are literally gathering these spirit creatures up well, that's and dark them into groups ready for the experimentation but is that all there is i, I mean don't maybe get wrong, not it's cool that we've been able to use sounds and spawning mechanics to prove this connection beyond just they look the same but is the la nothing more than a backstory for the vex just doesn't seem right the la these flying spirit creatures must exist for their own purposes beyond just the character everyone was already connecting them to what are they specifically where do Who they come knows? from Perhaps the biggest question of all why do they help us i couldn't leave this many unanswered questions i needed to look behind they're trying to conspire against us you should you should be probably worried i bet they're already evil they're just you know trying to get you comfortable until they probably be like here's some tnt also here's a uh a flint and stone still um and uh have fun with that beyond the surface <laughs> level stuff i needed to dig deeper dig deeper oh Nope, too deep, too deep. What I mean is that we need to well, go deeper into the history of the LA. A history you know. that actually goes back beyond the 2021 mob vote. I'm talking about the 2020 Nether update. It turns really? out the LA was originally designed to be part of that update. It wasn't even going to be put up for a vote. Like, it was just going to be there. Now, if you're like me when I first heard... Wait. Is this, is this confirming that the LA vote was rigged? What if they rigged it, guys? No, I'm not going to say that. No, let's not go there. But honestly, like that that's that kind of makes it suspicious. I mean, who knows? Maybe there were some some uh employees going in there and being like, "Well, we kind of need the LA." Or what if what if the copper golem had one and we actually would have gotten the LA anyway? That I wasn't all that who surprised knows? that it got removed. I mean, where does an angelic creature like the LA fit into an update from Minecraft's version of HE double hockey sticks? <laughs> it feels a little counterintuitive, you know? But then I looked at the original designs and things started to make a lot more sense. Rather than being angelic creatures that looked like the Vex, the LA started as small little cubes that left trails of blue oh. flame behind them. Given that oh. blue fire was a big kind of another update, things started to fit together much better. Plus, at this point in development, they weren't called the Allay, but rather Wisps. In folklore, hmm. Wisps, or more formally, will the wisps are depicted as ghostly lights or flames. So again, it would make sense for this to be part of the Nether update. Now, we don't exactly know why they were pulled from the game. Could have been as simple well. as they couldn't get the mechanics to work. But I have a feeling it might have to do with the lore implications. Wisp mythology They care about the lore! Region, the that I found in my research is that they're said to be the spirits of the dead. Now, at first, that seems like it's an absolute slam dunk for the nether i mean it i mean that does make sense i mean it is you know he double hockey sticks you would you would expect there there's literally soul sand which has images of of people crying out so i mean it's 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 pretty pretty uh set in stone uh or soul stand to suspect that that that's probably the case but you know who knows maybe the the lay is still connected to the nether maybe that's where he's going after all however we also know that souls have a different form and purpose in the nether soul sand and soul soil both of them play mm -hmm. an important role for the nether they have, just predicting in the, the video of the dead being absorbed by the land there would be no way for life in the nether to exist the way that it currently does so if you added a soul-based mob to the nether you'd have to explain why some souls become soul sand while others get to have a second life as a wisp basically it screws things up or yeah. at the very least over complicates things but if you suddenly put these things out in the overworld you don't have that problem there's no True. naturally occurring soul sand and so far there's no explanation for what happens to the dead inside of this universe thus the allay can suddenly enter the game okay so the allay are the spirits of the dead but then who died well take a very close look at the allay and tell me if you see something Steve. familiar and this time i'm not talking about the fact that they look like the vex look at its head Notice those subtle shading details? It has what appears to be a hairline. See those differently colored pixels at the top? Flat across the front, little arc around the sides of the head to reflect where ears would It's the crying child. It's Gregory, obviously. In fact, the pattern is very reminiscent of another character that we know all too well, Steve. Just look at the oh, two of them side by side. It's an look at that. Match. Now, I'm not suggesting that the Allay are the manifestations of the player character every time you die. Instead, I'm saying that the Allay are my favorite explanation for everything that we see in this game, the spirits of those who came before Oh, yeah. Us. Say it with me now. Ancient builders. <laughs> Looks like the Vex isn't the only thing with a lot of spirits trapped inside that are screaming to get out. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I'm not saying the 
master builders. See, but what I am saying is that Mojang gave the LA some of What if it's clones? What if like Steve is just a bunch of clones? Like the master builders don't actually exist. It was just like a bunch of cloning experiments. Like Steve was lonely and he just cloned himself over and over again. And then we're just playing as one of his clones and everyone else turned to zombies and or if they I guess didn't get infected, then they were Turn to the LA. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe that's the entire explanation. Did I get it? Did I get it right, Matt Pat? Steve's key features as a visual short. <laughs> I don't think so. Master Builder is probably a better explanation. Who knows? In some way, it might sound like I'm reaching here, but hear me out. When you free the LA from their prisons, they'll act like most passive mobs. They'll just fly away without so much as a thank you. Now, mobs like wolves and cats will become friendly towards the player if you feed them enough, but the LA actually work differently. Instead of feeding them, the LA only ask for one small thing: an item, any item. Quote, we gave the LA and the player a magical connection formed when you give the LA an item. That's actually oh. a quote from Nir Ulrath Vaknin, a vanilla gameplay designer at Mojang. This isn't interesting. the wolves and the cats. This is a special bond between the player and the LA. In fact, they actually have a different set of sounds for when you cute. have an item labeled yearn. <laughs> A yearn is an intense feeling of longing and Aww, desire. That's the LA sad. need these items for some reason. They crave them. Give me stuff, I'm a hoarder. I mean, yeah, it ends up the LA. It's not actually giving you items. It's just taking it, putting its personal stash. It's like, I need these items. Give me all your items. Uh, see, yeah, I mean, it, it, the LA's truly are probably evil. Who knows? Well, what if they're the spirits of the ancient builders desperate to finish what they started? To finish their monuments, their cities, but they can't do it by themselves anymore. And when you do give them an item, things change. It suddenly pays attention to you. It helps you. It befriends you. Because it suddenly realizes who you are. A descendant. The new generation of builder that wants to continue exploring and creating, Steve. furthering their legacy. And to do that, you're going to need items collected. Something that the LA can help with. I mean, why you'd want to erect a giant recreation of my head into the side of the mountain is something that they don't quite understand and well frankly, neither do i but hey it's the spirit of creativity that they once had alive inside of it's you, a good idea so they're more than happy to help out the fact that the la can interact with the minecraft world at all should be a major hint as to their origins they're able to pick up items they give them to the player and they can drop them at the closest note block the only other mob that we know that can interact with the world is the enderman, enderman. a mob that can also pick up blocks another mob that wouldn't you know we also theorized are ancient builders only these guys are still alive they evolved over centuries of being trapped in the end even the la's fondness for music makes sense it dances interesting in yeah the jukebox with that's interesting playing, which may seem cute but think back to the disc that we talked about in our last theory disc number five that disc contains 23 seconds of music randomly inserted into the middle part of a huh. music disc that was owned by the ancient builders down in their ancient cities Here that's music, interesting the la want to dance reminding them of the good old days when they were happy and alive, dancing and listening oh, to that's music cute. inside of a world that they themselves built. A fun little Easter egg for casual fans, but a bittersweet moment for anyone who knows the truth about this game's story. So Dan oh, that's sad. They're dancing because they are longing to be alive again. So they, you know, they, 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 they take all your stuff that you give them, and they keep them to make them happy because that's all they have. See, that makes a little bit more sense. They aren't technically evil, guys. They're just misunderstood. But I still think, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't actually... I need to, to, to meet in LA. I need to go up, be brave, kill some vill uh Not villagers. Villagers or whatever. Get some lays. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. Dance on, little guy. Dance on and remember those long lost days. Because you'll never have them again. For you, I ask wow. you to remember that it's all just a theory. A game theory. Thanks Wait, what, for what, casual was fans, what was the meme? What was the meme? cannot have the theory. Oh. Thanks for, for watching. And thanks again to Geico oh. for sponsoring today's episode. Thought well, have to you, you know, you know, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for joining me uh, for watching this. Uh, I know it's a bit silly, but um, honestly, like, Overall, what do I think of his theory? I think that it it kind of holds up. I have my own theories uh, that kind of don't necessarily include the master builders. Like I don't think, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I know that it's like uh, goes to like the mob beast area and all that. Like it goes to secondary sources uh, that are approved by Mojang. And I like I understand that that's that's like just kind of what he does. But overall, when you're looking in game, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I feel like. 
you know, it makes sense on one side that there was like a civilization. It makes sense. But on the other hand, I'm just not sure. I don't know if I'm exactly, even with all the dozens of theories he's put out talking about the Master Builders, I don't know if I'm exactly still into the theory. Who knows? Uh, but thank you guys. Please post your comments below what you guys think about the LA. Um, are you sad that it's not the Copper Golem getting its own video about the lore? But overall, you know what? The LA is pretty cute. And I think that overall it's got some good mechanics to it. So, I mean, I'm, overall, I'm not too, too disappointed. I haven't met it yet, though. And I'm a bit sad about that. Uh, eventually, though, you know, I will. As well as being uh, too hit by the, uh, the warden. I'm excited about that. I'm excited. All right. So thank you guys so much. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. And you guys have a great rest of your day.